My name is Guo Ling Wang from Sun Yat-sen University in Guangzhou, China. I'm a researcher at the School of Public Health, working with Professor Jia Hai Lu, an international expert in infectious epidemiology and viral vaccine. Professor Lu has extensive experience with flu vaccine and anti-flu drugs and has been studying influenza for the past few years. Influenza, or the flu, is caused by one of several types of viruses that can spread quickly from person to person via airborne particles. If the particles are inhaled, they will travel down the trachea into smaller and smaller airways. At this point, Protein spikes on the surface of a virus may bind to other proteins on the cells which line the respiratory tract. The virus is then engulfed by the cell, which serves as a factory of salts for viral replication. The newly formed viruses bud off the surface of the cell and spread throughout the respiratory system. The infected tissues become swollen and inflamed, causing symptoms such as cough, sore throat, and a runny or stuffy nose. As the virus continues to spread into the bloodstream and throughout the body, further symptoms, including fever, headache, muscle ache, and extreme fatigue develop. In the case of a virulent, highly pathogenic strain, infection with this virus is sometimes fatal. In 2006, we developed hyperimmune globulin against H5N1 virus, and the result was published on the journal of respiratory research of Biomed Central. In the same year, the research team at Canopus Biopharma contacted Professor Lu. They have been researching statin and caffeine combinations as anti-influenza agents for over a decade. Their research showed that when combined, these compounds synergistically inhibit viral replication by two different mechanisms. The need for an effective prophylactic and treatment drug for influenza along with Professor Lu's own interest in this area prepared us to get involved with the Canopus biopharma team and their novel combination Statin and caffeine. Following extensive discussions, a study was initiated in 2006, and these encouraging findings were the result of a successful two-year collaboration. We have continued to have a thriving partnership with the research team at Canopus Biopharma, and we look forward to having our data published soon. The Statin C study was carried out using Bell B C mice, and we initially tested the combination's effect on highly pathogenic avian influenza H5N1. The efficacy of Statin C was compared to Tamiflu, the current leading drug in the fight against influenza. After encouraging results, Canopus then requested that we screen statin C against another two strains of the virus, H3N2, which is Hong Kong flu, and H1N1, which is the strain responsible for the Spanish flu pandemic in 1918, which killed over 40 million people. What we found was 
Vitamin C effectively reduced viral titer and lowered the degree of heart and lung tissue damage in comparison to the virus control. Particularly at the higher dose and when administered preventatively, statin C effectively inhibited lung damage, as well as inhibiting viral replication in all three pandemic flu virus strains. Statin C was effective when administered preventatively. Suggesting that statin C may be a suitable for both treatment and prevention of influenza virus infections. The histopathology results also indicated less than pathology damage in the statin C preventative group when compared to Tamiflu-treated animals. Statin C combination treated groups also showed a greater reduction in inflammation of lung tissue compared to the virus control group. The principal cause of hospitalization and death from influenza infection. It is possible that higher doses of Statin C may result in even greater efficacy, as the effect of dose escalation on these outcomes was significantly better than in the lower dose groups. Canopus is undertaking a ferret animal model using a lethal strain of influenza to examine efficacy of statin C, including a Tamiflu comparison. Dose and administration route will be optimized in this study. Once completed, the project will then satisfy the FDA's animal efficacy rule and make statin C available for government stockpiling for use in the case of pandemic. With current positive results. Canopus Biopharma is seeking a co-development agreement or licensing arrangements with government health authorities interested in providing more economical and universal treatment for influenza. We would like to ask for government cooperation in expediting our research and welcome any queries relating to our studies. Two drugs, Tamiflu and Zanamivir, can reduce the severity and duration of illness caused by seasonal influenza. For cases of human infection with H5N1, the drugs may improve prospects of survival if administered early, but clinical data are limited. The H5N1 virus is expected to be susceptible to the neuraminidase inhibitors. Antiviral resistance to neuraminidase inhibitors has been clinically negligible so far, but is likely to be detected during widespread use during a pandemic. Development of novel drugs against flu virus may be an alternative strategy for the treatment of infection and the prevention and control of future outbreaks. Statin C is an effective antiviral comprised of statin and caffeine, two of the world's most common and widely available drugs, and so. It satisfies the criteria outlined by the WHO. This study has proved to be an exciting and worthwhile collaboration, and paves the way for future development of this novel combination. Our successful Chinese-U.S. collaboration on this research effort 
may lead to an effective solution to treating an influenza pandemic.